Hi everyone, Leanne here. I hope you're doing well. I have this really cute package from Paris from Frenchie in Focus and she is somebody that I have that I have admired um, since the beginning of my own YouTube journey and um, we decided that it would be fun to swap inks and what better way to use these inks than to um, have it as part of my currently inked for the month of December. So what Paris and I decided to do was to have a theme to this ink swap. Her idea, very creative, and the theme is Christmas Boho. Um, I had no idea what Christmas Boho was, so I Googled it, and uh, I'll show you a screenshot of, some, of a cozy color palette, and it's what inspired us to select these inks for one another. Um, I have, um, I'll put a link down below of her video um, uh, inking and swatching all the inks or swatching all the inks and I'll have that provided for you as well. Oh, what is this? First of all, in this day and age when everything is consumed and experienced virtually, there's nothing more special than to receive a package through snail mail, through the postal service, and to have something in your hands that was curated, put together um, by another human being. You know, it's, it's really special. And this is a very cute gift. And, I, and she has the inks in this pouch, which is so adorable. It's, it looks, it feels like a cotton and cotton fabric and it's got these beautiful little flowers um, and it says lifestyle what sunshine is to flowers smiles are to humanity absolutely Paris I hope that you can is this even in frame oh, oh a little too high um, but Paris if you could hear the smile on my face I absolutely am uh, this is very cute so thank you so much. So I'm gonna open this up in just a sec. But wow, Paris, this is beautiful. Now I wonder how I am supposed to open this. Um, okay, I think I'm supposed to wind it. I don't know what's happening here. Bear with me. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's so lovely. Definitely like, romantic cottage cozy vibes oh my goodness this is so beautiful just taking it in here the butterfly these birds have been stamped oh this is a pouch she made a pouch here with some stickers oh this is so lovely you know what i've realized is that if you're going to swatch or swap inks I definitely need to uh, collect some more stickers. I don't have many stickers because it's so much fun to receive these little these little things. They're so pretty and it's fun to decorate in your journal. <gasps> oh my goodness. So I'm definitely going to have to kind of uh, get a sticker collection going. Oh my gosh. Now this is... A color palette that I have been obsessed with absolutely obsessed with um, since autumn began uh, and now Lorelei from handmade by Lorelei introduced me to pet tape because I had no idea what that was until she sent some along and now I recognize some of these oh and I recognize this cat I recognize this cat because it's on little package here do you see that so I'm filming in my basement right now it's late at night I typically will film during the day but it has been really hectic and so it's late night right now and I'm trying to tuck myself away into a spot in the house where the kids can't sleep can't hear me as they sleep now, Paris, I'm going to have to reach out to you and ask you where you buy all your things. These are so cute. Okay, Paris, I think I'm going to have to try to journal it in your style. So I'm, I will dedicate a journal with me to you. 
Oh, and some Christmas stickers. Lovely. Oh my goodness. Paris, did you make this by hand, this folder? This reminds me, uh, Handmade by Lorelei um, is also really great at making this sort of like just the sort of paper craft and I don't even know what to call this it's just so beautiful and intricate and this looks like a letter so I will read this off camera well let me just open this to see I would like for you to kind of watch this unfold gosh even this just so delicately and artfully incorporated into this letter. So we decided to swap five inks based on the color palette that we had shared. She says these two inks scream Christmas to her. And let's see if I can put it in camera. It's Ferris Wheel Press, The Velvet Ballet, and Ferris Wheel Press, Twinkling Tea Party. Can you see that? Twinkling Tea Party, the ultimate Christmas ink. Okay, so I will swatch those first for sure. Uh, and then we've got Monarca Tierra Colorada. Monarca Tierra Colorada. And then we have Sailor Yurimeku Itazora. I've yet, I've, these are all new inks. I've never tried them. I'm so excited. And this is Wearing Old Song of the Reed. Wow. First of all, um, I don't have any Ferris Wheel Press inks. So I'm very excited to give these a try. And even just looking at the caps from up above, this one, what is this? Twinkling Tea Party leans more green. And then Ferris Wheel Press, the Velvet Ballet, looks like there's some like burnt sienna or like a brownish red tone there. Song of the Reed looks like it's got some like tannish brown or golden brown hints and then Sailor Yurimeku Itazora. Just from the look of the cap, I don't know, it kind of looks green and then it looks kind of gray. And then uh, Tierra Colorada looks like a red brown. So we'll give this a try. Okay, so let's start with, well, this one that's that says Ultimate Christmas Ink, Twinkling Tea Party. One, two. Now I hope that everyone can see my setup. Um, I It is very dark outside. I don't have any natural light. And so I've got my candles here. I even have this little lantern um, that I have, but now it's dying. It doesn't have much juice left. Um, I have lots of lamps around me, so Hopefully you can see everything okay. Oh, very pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. What a wonderful introduction to Ferris Wheel Press inks. It's dynamic. I see a little bit of, I don't know, like yellow, yellow tones uh i don't know what to say about it. it it looks it reminds me of pine trees um paris did say that this is a um like a shimmering ink yeah they're sparkling inks so there must be some shimmer in here okay i'm going to take my kakimori glass nib get it dipped in there this is Ferris Wheel Press 
twinkling tea party. Oh wow, very, very beautiful. Is there anything else that I do here? I forget. Oh, I guess I can do this. Very pretty. It's missing something. What is it missing? Maybe some berries. You know, I, I can probably take a cotton swab and add some dots around it. Okay, as the ink is starting to dry, I, I definitely see some, um, gosh, is it sheening? I can't tell yet. It's very beautiful. Let's see. it's got a little bit of brown in there but it's not really green brown it's 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 not like sailor rikucha or or even like robert oster's uh, melon tea there's it's not it's not brownish um, definitely got like an evergreen pine tree sort of look like a winter pine definitely Okay, now I have Ferris Wheel Press, the Velvet Ballet. Oh, so pretty. You know what comes to mind off the bat? It's the Platinum Brune Sepia. It's got that pinky brown color, um, that Merlot color that Paris talks about. It's really, really pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay. It also reminds me of Pilot Hiroshizuku uh, Tsukushi, too. Let's see. Oh my goodness. I love this ink already. Very beautiful. I'm finding that I'm not talking very much today. It could be the time of day. Kind of tired, that's for sure. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, well, I will try to talk a little bit more. Um, I, I didn't know that I would like Ferris Wheel Press so much. Well, I just never, just never tried it. Um, 
but they're so gorgeous in that they're very rich in color. And uh, Paris, you're absolutely right. They are perfect for Christmas. And they're more muted. They're not like your typical um, elf green or your uh, that Christmas red. They're more muted. Cozy cottage Christmas boho for, for sure. Um, and they're so pretty. Now, as they're starting to dry, you can definitely see the shimmer in each of the inks. This one, it's a little subtle as it's still drying, but I think I see a little bit of like a silver, um, silver micro glitter or shimmer in there. And then in here, it's like a rose gold, pinky or copper sheen, or I mean shimmer. Okay. Now, next I'm going to try Laringal Song of the Reed. I like this color already. One, two, adding two drops. I'm just cleaning out the eyedropper right now off camera. Wearing all song of the reed. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. So it is like a tan brown, but it's got some red reddish undertones there. Now I wonder how it's going to show up when I ink it up in this glass nib. Okay. This is, can you see this on camera? Okay. Wearing all song of the reed. Very pretty. Now, is there an ink that this reminds me of. I'm not sure. I don't know if I have one that comes to mind as easily as the other ones have. It kind of, kind of reminds me of Birmingham Pen Company's Barley, but I think even that ink might have more green in the color and this one definitely does not have any green oh it's very pretty gorgeous oh I've forgotten to do the cotton swab swatching here let's try wearing all oh, maybe I need to saturate it some more there we go So that is Song of the Reed. I'll do the Velvet Ballet. Yeah, I, I think as Velvet Ballet dries, it starts to lean more red. Because initially I thought it kind of looked like a brown red, which it still kind of does. But I see that it dries more to that wine red. That Paris talks about. That's really pretty. Okay. Now I'm going to do Sailor Yurimeku Itazora. Okay, let me read some of the notes that Paris provided. For Song of the Reed, she says it's her favorite tan. It reminds her of a cozy fire. It is a chroma shading ink. Oh my goodness, you know what? Now that it's starting to dry, I see that it chroma shades. There's yellow and then there's some burgundy as well. I could see what she's talking about, like a cozy fire. 
Oh, that's so pretty. I didn't see that at first when it was completely wet, but as it's drying, you can see the different colors in there. And then for Velvet Ballet, it's like a sparkling Merlot you receive at a holiday office party. Absolutely. And then for Twinkling Tea Party, it's a mossy green with red sheen and shimmer. Very, very pretty. Okay, and now Sailor Yurimeku Itazora. Um, it's her warmest blue and it reminds her of a winter's night sky right before it snows. Gosh, Paris, your descriptions are so good. <laughs> Very descriptive. And it's almost like uh, Song of the Reed. It didn't come to life until after I read your description. And then it's almost like I saw the crackling fire. Let's see. Okay, let's see what this warm, warm blue looks like. Okay, doing my little circular swirl and now I'm twisting it. Oh, this is really pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. I was just gonna say that this reminds me of a Sailor Chroma Shading ink, and then I just remembered this is a Sailor Chroma Shading ink. <laughs> Gosh, I just swatched an ink that reminds me of this ink. What was it? Oh yeah, it was a Trouble Troublemaker Petrichor. Actually, let me just turn this right here. Troublemaker Petrichor. It's got some lavender, some blue, and some gray there. Oh, this is definitely a little bit more purple, definitely more lavender with some green and blue in there as well. Very pretty. I'm going to do the dot swatching. Oh, it's so pretty. want to make sure I have the spelling right. Oh gosh. I'm just noting um, how even as I'm drawing out this vine, I see bits of blue and lavender. Um, and I can almost see what Paris is trying to describe, just this kind of brooding broody night sky right before it starts to snow. Oh, it's a very magical ink. Okay. Very pretty. Last but not least, we have Monarca Tierra Colorada. And this is my first Monarca ink, and this is very exciting. And this, I mean, just looking at the vial here, it looks like an ink that I would love. Okay. It reminds me of Diamine Ancient Copper. I recently tried Diamine's Vintage Copper, and I really enjoyed that ink. Ooh. Oh, that's very pretty. 
I wonder if this ink is going to sheen. It's behaving similarly to the Ferris wheel twinkling tea party when I first made the wet um, swatch just because it has like a metallic or it's like a very bright sort of swatch. It's very pretty. It kind of reminds me of Ackerman's SBRE Brown a little bit. A little bit. This is SBRE Brown. No, but then it kind of reminds me of a more saturated brune sepia. Oh my goodness. These are such gorgeous colors. Okay. Monarca. I think adding the berries is a nice touch. It adds a little bit of some depth or some color variation on this vine here. Okay. Lovely. Okay, now I'm going to do the cotton swab. Swatching. Wow, it feels like a very wet ink. Especially writing down Monarca with the glass nib, it came out very saturated and, and a broad line for sure, very pretty. says that this ink is a Mexican brand inspired by the red soil in northern Mexico. Very pretty. Oh wow. Okay so I've given it some time for the inks to dry. Um, Monarca is still a little wet, but all the other inks are pretty much dry. So as I do a close up here, Ferris Wheel Press, uh, the Twinkling Tea Party is so pretty. Um, I guess, are they known for all the shimmer? I don't know, but anyway, this is gorgeous. It's, you know, it's got like this evergreen, like winter, winter, I don't know how to even, print, uh, how to even describe this, but um, Twinkling Tea Party is just a muted forest green, and then it's got like rose gold shimmer and a beautiful red sheen there. Really pretty. And then uh, the Velvet Ballet is a gorgeous ink where I think initially it looked like it kind of um, applied a little brown. Um, reminded me initially of Pilot Iroshizuku Tsukushi, and then as it dried, it dried to more of a red finish. I'm talking about it almost like as if it is a wine. That's really pretty, like a berry red. And it's got, gosh, it kind of looks like silver shimmer. The faintest like lavender gray shimmer there, very pretty. And then Saring or Song Wearingle Song of the Reed uh, is very much what uh, Paris describes it as, like a cozy fire. 
her favorite tan and it's got a little bit of orange in there. Uh, so it reminds me of like a muted diamine autumn oak in a way. And then Sailor Urameku Itazora. Even in the writing sample here, you see all the chroma shading. There's lavender and gray and light blue, almost like a baby blue. And then you could see how vibrant this pinkish lavender, this pinky um, pinky purple is. It's, it's very pretty. And you can see, I wonder if the camera does pick up on just how dynamic even this little drawing is here, this line drawing. And then, last but not least, I have Monarca Tierra Colorada. And it's this beautiful, warm brown uh, that is really pretty, really pretty. It feels, it looks like a wetter ink. And it's gorgeous. Kind of reminds me of Brune Sepia, maybe a more saturated version. Okay, well, there we have it. Uh, you'll have to check you'll have to check out Frenchie and Focus and see the inks that I sent her way. Um, Paris, this is just beautiful. Thank you so much. I can't wait to ink these up in some pens. So, well, I hope you enjoy this video. Take care. Bye.